Hello guys, today we're going to model some roller skates in Blender. This is part one of three of this tutorial series and we are gonna get started right away. So I set up some reference images. I just took them from the internet um, and it's important that you have a side, bottom and front view. The rear view is not really necessary, but it helps for the details. So just use your numpad and press 1, 3, 7 and 9 to navigate around the axis and place the pictures where they belong. I try to align them so they match up to uh, one size. <laughs> it will make sense. So um, next we're going to press Shift A and add a plane and simply just extrude it with E and move it around and extrude it further so that it looks like the base of the shoe. Okay, now that we're done, press Ctrl R to subdivide it, fix that little details to make the whole thing a little rounder. Then we're going to add a solidify modifier to make it look more 3D instead of 2D and move it down to where it belongs. And since the original is curved a little, we are going to, okay, align the pictures first. Yes, because it's curved, we are going to move it upwards and rotate it so that it fits the curve of the shoe. <clears throat> you can also play around with the solidify modifier, give it more thickness, make it thicker or slimmer, just the way you desire it. Then also in the object view, you can right click and um, click shade smooth to give it a more smooth look and um, let the hard edges disappear. And next we're going to add the, um, I don't know what it's called, the metal base plate underneath the sole. I'm going to do the same thing, extrude it, scale it along the uh, various axes and what I like to do when extruding some things over and over again, um, to save myself a bit of time, I like to extrude it and align it up with one of the edges so that I just have to fix the other edge. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Move some points around, make it more smooth. And do the same thing for the front. Just, here you can see better what I just told. Just extrude it, align it with one of the edges and then simply move the other edge to match the other side. Because this, in these pictures are not perfect, they are taken from two different roller skates because the first ones didn't have um, the bottom view. Uh, it, it will not match 100%, but this is not really my goal. So I'm just fine with, with whatever comes out of this. Okay, the same here. I'm pressing 3 to move into the side view and rotate it a little to give it a little nice curve. Next we are going to use the solidify modifier again. If it's a little weird like here that it's not going straight upwards, you switch to object mode, um, click on object 
and apply all effect scaling rotation and the solidifier will look fine. Okay, I'm back into the top view and I'm going to extrude it more to make it look um, a little more 3D instead of just one base plate. Okay, here I'm extruding it down. Press Alt Shift to mark the entire um, line and move it more downwards to just match this uh, metal thing underneath the underneath the skates. Okay, next we're going to um, mark some vertices and fill in the missing planes. Okay, looks good so far. Never mind, I forgot the backside to do the same thing. Just mark the vertices and press F to fill them. Okay, since we're focusing on the um, <laughs> on the part beneath the shoe, like the trucks and the wheels, or next we're going to move to uh, model this little thing where the stopper is mounted. Just hit Shift A to add a plane, and extrude it, scale it down, move it along, rotate it with R, and extrude it wherever you need it. This part is kind of boring, so I'm going to speed it up. Okay, while this is running in the background, let me tell you a little about um, the importance of good reference images. You really want to take your time when you're looking for a reference, because the pictures I picked, they're quite good if you're trying to sell some roller skates, but if you're trying to model them, they are mm, not really quite the best, because they are photographed from the front and the side and from whatever they want to show. Um, as you can see in the side view picture, the wheels don't match up, so I just had a little hard time to get it really accurate, and you're not going to get every detail correct if you're using some kind of images like these. You will see it better when we are going to model the stopper because this thing is as close as I could get but it's not perfect. When you're modeling some things like this, just just a quick tip, it might seem overwhelming at first but um, I had no idea how to model this base plate at first but you just have to think of it as simple shapes because that's all it is. You just have to break down these little shapes into smaller shapes and Blender already offers a great variation of shapes so just pick the closest one and that's going to do it for you and just modify it to resemble the shape that you want to achieve. But I totally get it, it can be hard sometimes. Okay, so now that I'm finished, I'm going to extrude the heel and for this I'm using the back part of the sole and just duplicate it with Shift D and extrude it down. And as always, just try to align it with the pictures.
make sure that you don't have any space left in between the, um, for example, the sole and the heel, because they are fixed together, so there's no problem in having them overlap a little. That's why I'm extruding it upwards a little more, so that it is stuck in between the sole. The same thing with the base plate, just extrude it down and have it match the, um, yeah, the plate. Okay, for the back truck where the wheels are mounted, I'm just duplicating uh, the front part with Shift D and extruding it once again to make this little shape, just like I told before. Um, find a shape that, that is close to what you want to achieve and just deform it to make it look more like the shape that you want. Okay, this part looks good so far. So what I'd like to do next is add a cylinder and in the little menu that pops up in the bottom left screen, you can change the amount of intersections. I opted for eight because I think the, the screw or the nut has eight edges and just place it where it belongs and extrude it to create this little stopper thingy. I didn't bother too much because technically it, this part has more vertices, but 100% correctness is not my goal in this video. Next we're going to add another cylinder and now it was kind of hard to line the whole thing up, but I just tried to get it as close as possible with the reference images. We are going to click Alt to mark one ring and press Ctrl B to bevel it. Repeat the same thing for the upper ring and you're fine to go. Next we are going to add another cylinder and press Ctrl R to subdivide it sometimes. You can use your mouse scroll wheel to change the amount of subdivisions. Mark the circles and extrude them outwards. To model these, um, I don't know what it's called, the trucks and bearings, I guess. And yeah, duplicate the whole thing, move it to the back and you're good to go. You can already, like I did here, um, change into object mode and shade the whole thing smooth, but that's kind of optional, that's just what I want to, I want to do. Next, you guessed it, another cylinder to make the front part of the trucks. Um, just move it a little and uh, what, I, what I did here was subdivide it a few times and 
give it a nice little curve and scale the, the underside a little outwards so that it looks like a pipe from one side and it flares out from the other side of you. Like the other thing, um, duplicate it and move it to the back. And next, we're going to add yet another cylinder, who would have guessed. And this is the part where the wheels are mounted. Just rotate it and place it somewhere where the wheels might belong. This part was mostly improvised because, yeah, as I said before, the reference Im the, my reference images are not quite the best. As close as possible is good enough. Next, we're going to add more cylinders to add in the wheels. We're going to use mirror modifier here to make our life a little easier. Mirror it along one of the truck parts. It's not important which one, just pick one that's in the middle. Yeah, once again, um, mark a ring. And press Ctrl B to bevel the whole thing out. We can duplicate the whole thing and move it to the back. <clears throat> so that we have four, four wheels in total. What I like to do next is mark the inner ring and insert it. Click I and let's add the screw that's in the that's placed in the middle of the wheel. For this, I'm going to add another cylinder and choose six sides and place it as close as possible where it belongs. Next, we're going to insert the the inner ring. Okay, that's fine, um, but the position is not quite correct, but it doesn't matter too much. Duplicate it and move it to the back wheel, uh, switch into x-ray mode, mark it, duplicate it and then bring it back. Okay, it was probably not the best idea to just duplicate the wheels and the screws for the wheels because I could have simply used a mirror modifier, but maybe you can find a way to make this whole thing better and make your life e a little easier. So, okay, now that we're done with this, we are done with part one. Congratulations, you modeled just a whole base of a whole roller skate in Blender. Okay, so that's it. Have a nice day and I hope I'm gonna see you in part two. Bye!